Hey, it's me. <laughs> T from the Pattersons taking the chain to Tibet. And it's morning time. I'm grooming myself. Remember, so you gotta groom yourself because remember, even though you're in lockdown, you're supposed to, you know, still take care of yourself, look good for yourself. Remember, if you look good for yourself, you look good to everybody else. I'm gonna start wearing my my clear glasses when I do these things now. So right now, I gotta take my medicine in the morning. Let's see. Make my morning pills. Because it is early in the morning. Take my morning pills. Vitamin D. Remember the vitamin D. Look, nobody knows what the dosage is. When I say the dosage, well, people have their own ideas. Here's my idea, which I'm not doing, because I'm pretty healthy, so I'm the way, but I'm, I go out and get my son every day I can. Kind of check the weather. I guess there should be some sun today. I better sit out there. Anyway, um, so I usually take one. I take a thousand. I use, you know, a thousand. A thousand. A thousand, you know, the the, 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 the dosage. Uh, I can take it in the morning. Then I take it in the afternoon. Then I usually take it at night. Whatever I start doing, sooner or later, like maybe in a couple of weeks, uh, so I'll start, I'll get a 5,000 one, where I take a thousand in the morning, a thousand in the, in the afternoon, and 5,000 at night. So, you know, whatever. Water. So we have a topic today. I'm making, tea. oh, here it is. I'm making tea. I just boil the water there. I got, it's a microwave. Actually, it's a, it's a convection oven. What's the matter with me? I could be baking a whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, it's a convection oven. I didn't know that. I don't have a convection oven down in, 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 down in Africa, so I don't know. Hey, look. Oh, it's the fancy ones. I got this tea. Look, it's, uh, it's ginger licorice. First of all, I like ginger. I'm a ginger addict. And it's that fancy tea bag. I had this tea bag and stuff. I remember this tea bag. It's some sort of weird... I don't actually don't like it because I don't think it's biodegradable like it should be. It's like a mesh kind of thing. You know what I mean? No, it's a good bit. Okay, call me old school, but you know, I'm more of a like a, you know, then I put a little thing in there, in the cup. See, I've got a little cup there. Call me old school, but hey. <laughs> I like the, here we go, commercials. I like the flow through tea bag. Isn't that wonderful? See, back then, let me tell you the problem that we're in right now. Whoops. When they used to, back in the 50s and the 60s, when they say eight out of 10 doctors or whatever it is, I mean, every time you mention somebody of authority, you know, everybody has some sort of reverence because you was coming out of the 50s, you know, into the well, 60s, they was against authority, but not really, you know, that, 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 Anyway. So I let that steep for a little while. So there you go. So now we have all this reverence. For, so so you have whole generations of people have reverence for people of authority. But then you get, when you go through the 70s and 80s, when you see how authority abused everything, then you go like, ooh, maybe this is not such a good, 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 good idea <laughs> to, 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 to respect authority. Look, you know what it's like? Let me explain it like this. There's this thing in Africa. Well, you say I mentioned Africa. Well, you're sitting here, in, sitting here in an undisclosed location. So, what are you talking about Africa? Because that's where I usually live. You know what I mean? I've been there since 2003, and I sort of miss it. You know, because as things go down, you know what I mean? Africa, where I am, I live in a village, and we grow food. Okay, we got animals running around. We grow food, so no matter what happens, I mean, we'll be good for a long time. You know. Anyway, back to the point. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, what, was, what was what was my point? Anyway, so so we we, we grow food, blah blah blah. Africa, da, 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 da. okay. So I'm trying to get I'm trying to get everything together here, to, uh, uh, get things together. So I'm um, when I said I was talking about grooming, right? And one of the things I do in the morning, first of all, you get a brush. But man, when you brush your teeth, try to have your little you know tongue scraper. Tongue scrapers are good. Give me a little, just relax. No, get to the thing. I'll get back to my point. Right? And what I usually do, my, my toothbrush, see, this is one of those, see, I, I got a little bit of it. Anyway, this is one of those, see, this is a um, a wooden thing and a very soft bristle. Use soft bristle on your thing because what you're actually doing is you're not brushing your teeth. You're actually brush, trying to brush your gums. So you don't want to brush your gums with something hard. You want to brush, but actually, when I was traveling to South America, they use, and then also in Jamaica too, they have, they have these little sticks, they like licorice sticks with it. But licorice, anyway, they have these little sticks that they do like that. They always constantly, you know, doing their teeth. Anyway, so I, what I do is I put some iodine and put a tincture, tincture, a little bit of tincture of iodine. Well, you can't see it. 
in the water and I let my toothpaste stay overnight in iodine, right? And then the toothpaste that I use, I know it's sort of like a commercial, don't worry about it. Toothpaste that I use, now this was fantastic when I got here this time. All of a sudden, when I went to the health food store, I saw this neem, I saw this neem toothpaste. There's another toothpaste they have, they have a, I think the same group, they have a black seed toothpaste too, but neem is my, neem is my plant, man. I found it in India, right? Unbelievable. I love me some neem, you know? So anyway, so uh, and, and for a long time, I think it was in South Africa, someplace, they wouldn't sell the neem, neem toothpaste. Anyway, so it's neem toothpaste. Very good for you, okay? And in fact, this toothpaste has neem in it, has a black, uh, organic black seed, it has uh, baking soda, uh, what's this, neem, uh, mint leaves, and organic clove. Every, all one of these is great for you, you know what I mean? Mint, you know, it's good for you, but uh, uh, not in cigarettes, by the way. Um, uh, the, the, the clove is excellent for teeth, blah, 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 blah. So that's really good. And now let's try. Here we go. Uh, I'll steep some more. Almost done through with this. See, licorice is good because it'll get rid of my, uh, my, uh, it'll, it'll, it, it really uh, cleans out any phlegm in you. You know what I mean? I feel like I have, not that I'm phlegmy, but I feel like I got it. Uh, so I do that. Back to authorities. That's what he's talking about, authorities. We, we, we're hooked up on authorities. Look. I hate to tell you, but, you know, when, we, when you call authorities, that's one thing. But you have, okay, let's do it this way. You have, you know, you have politicians, you have statesmen, right? A statesman is supposed to find, to find solutions to the thing. It'd be a good manager to find solutions, right? Politicians, all they do is take money. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what, what party you're in. About. They, there's a scheme. Because remember this, look, you don't really have to, to be elected. You just have to be, have a glib tongue and a good machine. But I shouldn't get into that. But anyway... Uh, what what happens is you don't necessarily have to have any de a degree or anything like that to be uh, be a politician. You know what I mean? You don't have to. Right? I mean, they put in there. You should have a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. They say, oh, I'm I'm working with this. I'm a community organizer. Blah, blah, blah. But actually, we've seen all these people come through. They, they, there's nothing, especially lawyers. You know. Almost everybody in Congress and, and, the, and the government has come through some sort of law thing. You know? So so all they, all that tells me is that you know since this is a lawless country. You, if you study the law, then you know how to get around the law so you can also be, quote, join the lawless crowd. Sorry about that. Just thought I'd mention that. I was going to say, oh, yeah, I got this. I always push this. This is a thing called uh, black walnut tea tree salve. I don't know. It's, I got this from the health food store. But I used to get it on the 13th, the, um, the integral yoga on 13th Street, but they went out of business. But then I found it. They have it on, on at Watkins, you know, health food store on 125th Street, which goes back to health food store. Look, this is why we used to love, well, we still love bookstores. Usually people working at, say, a bookstore, they know, they love books. They necessarily love books, and, you know, and they know, they know books, you know what I mean? So, so, so that's good. Usually people work in a health food store, especially when it's been long established, then you can ask them any question and get a whole bunch of answers, you know? So um, so I'm, I go to Watkins over there, and then I have on this side, there's a really good health food store that I, I like. Because it's usually not too crowded, and I can talk to people. Watkins is always crowded. Let's go in the morning. Um, so anyway, uh, look, what's your routine? That's the question, because they have their routine and their routine in this, this pandemic is not going for us. Figure out your routine. And then, you know, I think the first thing for her, you have to have some mental health. The first thing with mental health is to stop listening to these news people. If you hear all the time, then stop. Look, stay away. From, stay away from the locals. Stop listening to politicians. Right. Really find some really real scientists. You know what I mean? And five, five or six sources from some sources that, 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 that how do you say, um, uh, that go against this other source that you just picked up. And look at the two and you say, ooh, mm, mm, let me, hey, I have a new thought. I see this one. I see that one. I got a new thought. That's what it's all about, right? Stop being lemming. Stop, stop, stop. It's because somebody gets in front of a microphone and, and, and they've been elected to office. And in fact, it's worse to be in the office for a long time, which means they got a lot of people to pay off. <laughs> so, so watch it. That's just a little, you know, message from you know for me. Uh, be up uh, and look again. I'm sequestered. I'm. Uh, this is we're coming. I'm sorry. One last thing. We're coming. We're supposed to be coming to this like phase where they're gonna let a lot of people out, and then people are gonna be gathering, and then the the, the the thing might spike again. So me, you know, I think for the next two weeks, I'm, this is like, this is like a crucial period for myself as far as you know. Every year, you know, right before my, you know, 52 days before my birthday, I'm, I have to chill. So, you know, so there you go. I'm chilling. 
you know, I'm cool. Be cool. Uh, stay away from. I just don't. I don't say stay away from, but just uh, stay with. Keep on talking to people. Okay. I'm sorry you can't hug anybody because we like to hug because we we humans. <laughs>